How's it going, YouTube? Today is May 10th, 2024, and today we're going to be playing Namco Museum on Nintendo Switch. So today I thought it'd be fun to play a handful of these games here and see if we can set some new high scores, because this game does have online leaderboards. And I thought we would start with the good old classic Galaga. All right, so let's hop in here. So let's reset here. We're just going to insert one token here. And let's go. So for people that actually don't know, this is a fairly early Nintendo Switch game, this Namco Museum Collection, released back in 2017. And I bet a lot of people actually don't know this game is actually on the Switch. And it's a pretty solid collection too. All right. So let's see if we can get a new high score. I'm pretty rusty at Galaga. I haven't played this in quite some time. Thankfully, there is like an auto fire here. Do do do. Try to be careful. <laughs> All right. Ah, there we go. Stage two. Oh no, crap. Well, we're off to a great start, aren't we? <laughs> I'm rusty. I really wish uh, Galaxian was in this collection. Unfortunately, Galaxian is actually not in this Namco Museum game. I have actually played a lot more Galaxian than Galaga. Oh crap. Ah, uh, let's go. Challenging stage. All right, I got a bonus stage here. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm amazing at Galaga. All right. So, uh, so to set high scores in this game, you do have to leave the game on default settings. I'm not sure how the game considers high score when you enter multiple credits. I'm actually not sure how that works. So I figured tonight when we play, we'll just insert one credit and keep going, right? All right. So the one thing I really do like about this Namco Museum collection, and to my knowledge, I think it is the only Namco Museum that actually has a splatter house in it. So this game actually does have Splatterhouse. The Splatterhouse, for people that have never played it, is a horror-themed, like, 2D side-scrolling beat-em-up game. Well, we'll definitely play that tonight. I do like uh, Splatterhouse a lot. It's a great game. So I could potentially let him take my ship, and we could have destroyed it and got, like, a double ship, but let's be safe. All right, stage five. Oh, that almost hit me. All right. Oh, shit. All right, we're getting extra life. I feel like we're doing all right for not playing this game for a while. It hasn't been forever since I've played this game, but it has been a bit. I do like me some Galaga. Oh shit. Eight hundred points. Let's go. I feel like we're doing pretty good. All right. Stage six. So the really cool thing about this game, this uh, Namco Museum collection, is you can actually rotate the screen. If you want to go sideways, which I believe is called Tate mode or Tate mode. You guys remember in the Nintendo Switch's early lifespan, the flip grip? Some games had it so you could rotate the, the screen so you could take advantage of the flip grip. Basically, you, you rotate your Nintendo Switch screen to its side, so it's the long way, right? And the flip grip was like a specific, like, a Joy-Con grip. So you could actually have the long way. That was pretty cool. And this game did support it. Oh, geez, we're... We're getting lucky they're not hitting me in that corner because I think they can hit me.
All right. All right, cool. All right, we're, we're doing pretty good. I'm not going to lie. We don't get a new high score. That's all right. I'm just here to play some uh, classic Namco games. Gives me an excuse, right? Hopefully they make uh, a new Namco Museum collection for uh, next Nintendo Switch model. <laughs> In quotes. So as of this recording, uh, I guess Nintendo has acknowledged there is going to be a successor to Nintendo Switch. That's all we know. <laughs> That's all we know officially as of this recording. So yeah, so whatever the Switch 2, whatever that comes out, if they make a new um, Namco Museum collection, I'll be happy. Put Galaxian and Pole Position. Sadly, Pole Position is not in this collection either. So those are the two classic Namco games I wish were in this collection. No Pole Position, no Galaxian. Those are the two that I really m miss from this collection. Other than that, it's a really fun collection. I like it a lot. But since those two are missing, unfortunately, this collection, to me personally, is not perfect. I think we're going to get a new high score. Let's go. Nice. Look at that. We're out about a new high score. All right, we're kicking ass. So we're going to keep going. Let's go. New high score. We got new PB, everybody. All right, I'm happy. Well, let's keep going. We're going to keep going for as long as we can. Got to get high on the leaderboards. The leaderboards in this game are fun because it shows everybody's, like, Nintendo Switch profile picture. And you can, like, visit other Switch profiles. I bet this game sold fairly well because, like I said, it was a really early Switch game. Oh, fuck. I was trying to get him. Damn, that sucks. That's unfortunate death there. All right. Stage 10. Do, 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 do. Good old classic games. No background music for the most part. <laughs> Back in my day, we didn't have background music. We had to play our uh, Sony Walkman and listen to ACDC and Metallica while we're playing. <laughs> and this game came out before I was born. This is what, 88 for this game? I'm a 90s kid. I was actually 90. I was born 1990. I'm an old man. Can I retire yet and just play Galaga for the rest of my life? I'm really, like I said, I'm surprised like how well we're actually doing tonight. We're not playing this game for a while. I always hate it when there's like a few guys left and it's always a pain in the ass to get them. And I'm trying to be safe because I don't want to get hit, right? There we go. All right. All right, we got another, shit, another stage. Oh, he's the auto flyer. The auto flyer does, as I was gonna say, does let you for the high score, so. It's not like auto fire like breaks this game because I think you can only have two bullets on the screen at the same time. <laughs> I just remembered I actually have a Galaga t-shirt somewhere in my closet. I haven't worn in years, but I actually have a Galaga t-shirt. All right. All right, we're kicking ass. Let's go. Let's keep going. I probably just jinxed it. We're going to get Sean and get a terrible score now. If I can get number one in the world, let's go. Oh, shit. We almost got hit there. They should make a new Galaga game. What's the last Galaga game they actually made? Oh, fuck. Uh, Galaga Legion on the Xbox 360? Was that the last game that was actually just called Galaga? There might be some new one. Maybe there's like a new mobile game I never played. Oh, that sucks. Like I said, it's always those last two guys that are a pain in the ass to get. There we go. Darn. We're kicking ass and now we're dying. No, stage 13. This might be the end for us, but we got a new uh, personal best. I'll take it. Oh, that fucking hit me. Game over. GG, GG. <laughs> hit accuracy 43%. 
GG, GG. Okay. Okay, they're my initials. There we go. GG, GG, GG. Okay, we definitely crushed our score. There we go. So now I believe... Okay, so now let's go to options. And go to rankings. So what was it? 61... 61,620. All right, so let's go to rankings. So we definitely got a new personal best. There we are. Got the stage 13. We're 22,913. So... Yeah, it's pretty fun with this here, right? You, just, you can click the name, and then you could click X and look at the Switch profile and stuff, so. Yeah, hopefully the hopefully the leaderboards, I guess, okay, we're going to find out. Hopefully the leaderboards are not cheated, right? Okay, so I hit the X button. Okay, maybe not. Jeez, look at these scores. I'm never going to get that eye. <laughs> these guys are monsters in this game, so. Nice, well, we did get a new personal best, so I'll take it. All right, so let's play a different game now. Oh, that's right. I can just do that. So Galaga 88 is actually in this game. So we'll, we'll play that later. So um, I think next we got to go dig dig. Normal mode. All right, dude, I love this game. So so back in the day I had, I think it was called Microsoft Arcade Essentials, I think is what it was. It was a Windows PC game that actually was a bunch of Namco games. And that is how I actually played a bunch of these games when I was a kid. And I had, what, Pac-Man, Dig Dug, Galaxian, and, and Pole Position. Like, Windows, like, DOS versions. And that's how I played a bunch of this game back in the day. So, I don't know. All right. One credit. That's all we're doing. Just one credit. All right. Dig Dug. There's also, like, different backgrounds and stuff you can choose, too. You can adjust your game window. So, there's a lot of good options in this collection here. So if I remember right, isn't it if you drop the rock, you get more points? Is that how that works in this game? Also, if you, if you pump like that, so just, ma just mash the A button and just like keep moving towards the, the monster, and you can pump them a lot faster like that. Like that. Yeah, look how much faster you pump them. Dig, dig. Maybe at some point in time, I should actually revisit those Windows versions of the, the Namco games I was talking about. Because you could probably just go out there and just go find them and download them. Oh, that's right. They run away. That's right. When there's only one left. No run away for me. I'm trying to get a high score. So 19,400 is my uh, personal best. Watch out for the fire guys here. Dig, dig. I always loved it. Uh, the stage counter in this game are those top flowers there up on the top. That's actually your stage counter. So yeah, keep an eye on those. So we're gonna be stage four now. Cause I think uh, there's more. Yeah, so there's four flowers now. It also shows around four on the bottom. That's just a fun touch. This game, what, 1982? Damn. Like I said, I think. Okay. Release the rock. Oh, I missed him. Like I said, I think you get more points if you crush him with the rock. <laughs> that Dig Dug is so cool. Nice. One thing I was actually kind of surprised with uh, the Nintendo Switch lifespan is uh, this is the only Namco Museum game they actually made for Switch. I figured maybe at some point in time they would make another collection, but nope, this is the only version they made. As far as I know, that I remember, this is the only Namco Museum on Switch. All right, let's go. All right, so far, oh, there's a double guy, oh. That was a lot of the dragon guys now. Oh, jeez. So I think when that music plays, that means they're... Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. I thought I was going to hit. Oh, we got an extra life. Let's go. 
I think um, I think they get faster and they go straight towards you. I think. Oh no! I think that patch of dirt wasn't thin. I believe if the the patch of dirt is thin enough, you can um uh, you can get him. Oh geez, they're coming! <clears throat> they're coming! There's a guy up top. I don't think he runs away. I think only when there's one guy left and they run away. Okay. I'll just make sure I don't touch him. No, nope, don't run away. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Jeez, I didn't have a very good score, did I? Only 19,000. <clears> yeah, like I was saying earlier, like I played the Windows version of, of this game. I remember like getting like really good at this game and getting <clears throat> I can actually get like really far in the game back in the day. Well, I'm gonna get a new high score, okay. There we go. Yeah, my score I guess is not very good. I must have like played this for like a couple minutes and just stopped, but today I actually want to see how far I can actually get. Gonna do personal best. Yeah, so I think if yeah, I was gonna say if there's a tiny hole like that your pump can actually go through it. There's a little tiny wall. Oh, shit. No! Okay, the dragons are a little too scary. Okay. There's actually a double here. Oh, I was hoping I could... Uh... Okay, we should be fine here. What I wanted to do is try to get where that rock was and smush him. All right, well, we got a new high score. I guess my high score is not very good in this game. Doot, doot. All right, a lot of dragons. I believe that works, right? There we go. How many points do we get? 1,000 points. Holy shit, there's so many dudes right now. Oh, Jesus. There's so many right now. Yo, let's go! Yeah, so yeah, just match the direction towards him and then match the pump button. I guess I'm going to try to go for the dragon here. Okay. Dig, dig. We're digging and we're dug. Oh, there's shit. That counted as a hit. Damn, we're not doing very good. <laughs> I'm not as good as I used to be in this game. It has to be like really good at this game. Yeah. Can they spit? I say I don't think they could spit fire. Um. Uh, also, the the flower turns right every ten rounds. As I say, I don't think they could spit fire up and down. I think they can only spit left and right. Nice. Let's go. All right, we go. Next round. Okay, they're coming. Oh, Jesus. They are fucking super coming. Oh, God. Gotta give myself a little runway. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh my god, that almost hit me. Oh, all right. All right. All right, round 13. All right, our run's going. They should make a Dig Dug roguelike game. That'd be sick. Holy shit. Uh, That was bad. Damn, that's GG. Round 13. All right, well, we did get new personal best, so I'll take it. Go for the world record out. What is the world record in this game? This game probably has a kill screen, right? Okay, let me enter my initials. And there we go. All right, we definitely got a new personal best there. So, all right, so let's see where we're at. So 34, 760. All right, so we are tied with a few others for 78.75, so I'll take it. Let's go. 
All right. Okay. Every time we play a game, we'll check the highs. Oh my God. This guy <laughs> stage of 112. Ugh. Cause this is an arcade game. I think it goes infinitely, right? Damn. This guy's a monster. I would love to see how many hours he has in this game, but he probably hasn't played this game in forever though. Good shit. Well, let's uh, go to the main menu and change games. I really like the menu here. All right. So what should we play? Sky Kid, we got Rolling Thunder, Splatter. I think we'll save Splatter as for our last game. So not Pac-Man, not yet. Also, it's kind of crappy at this game. Uh, this is a weird one. Let's just do Rolling Thunder 1. Rolling Thunder number 1. Oh, uh, start. All right, one credit. 1986 for this game. All right, we got Rolling Thunder. Can I shoot up? Oh, I, I do have limited bullets. That's right. Okay, it's been a bit since I played this game. Okay, those guys take two hits. Oh, that's right. You can go in there and get ammo. And then you can take clever. This game's pretty cool. Oh, shit. So in this game, you have an actual life bar. Arms. So is there a time? Okay, there is a timer. Oh, we got a... We get like a machine gun? Is that what that means? Oh, we did. Yo, let's go. Oh, so if the door says arms, you get a new gun. I'm waiting for these guys to drop. Oh, can I not? Oh, how do I hold up and jump? Oh, shit. It's been a while since I played this game, so I'm trying to remember what I can and can't do. Oh, that's a death. Oh, we are not doing very good, are we? I never really played a whole lot of this game. It is cool, though. Okay, yeah, so the door, so it shows bullets. Okay, I see, I see, I see now. Oh, shit. What happens if I go in here? Nothing? Okay, nothing. Okay. Okay, so uh, the guys, these guys, the red guys with the orange hat. These guys have actual guns themselves, so. Okay, we got a machine gun. Let's go. Oh, fuck. Oh, jeez. I had to jump away from that guy. That uh, dynamite you threw went way further than I thought I was going to. Okay. Does this fill me up on my machine gun? No. Okay. Bullet just it's the regular gun. Okay. I'm gonna take it slow because I don't know who's gonna come out of the doors and who's not gonna. I'm trying to take it slow. Take it easy. Okay, we're doing a lot better with this life now. Oh! Okay, so a gunshot I think is insta kill. Yeah, we are not doing so hot, are we? It's really fun playing this collection again. Like I said, I haven't played this actual like Namco Museum collection. Fuck, I can't crouch in there. Damn, we got destroyed. Oof. Rough. Uh, how do I? I'm 
trying to select my... Update the Y button. Okay. I'll put my initials in. There we go. There we go. Okay, that was terrible. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, let's just see where I'm at. Okay, so we did not get a personal best here. Let's see where we're at right now in this game, though. 10,000, though. <laughs> Stage two. Damn. Okay, uh, let's play. We'll, we'll, we'll play the second game now. So let's go. Rolling Thunder number two. Normal mode. There's also the challenge mode, which has its own. Uh, uh, it's like a challenge and it has its own leaderboard. Uh, Player one, Leah. So here's the second rolling thunder. This game looks way different. Like definitely looks like graphically like so much better compared to the first game, right? We got this almost naked chick on the side of the screen. Also, I guess this game is what two player co-op. Well, there's a gun up there. Okay. Okay, so they can actually attack down in this game. Oh, great. Oh, you can't jump and shoot. Okay. Okay, give me a machine gun. Yeah, you definitely tell this game came out way later compared to the first game, right? That stinks you can't jump and shoot. It does make this game a little more trickier because you can't do that. So unfortunately, this game is not Contra. I so said this game probably come out after Contra, right? I'm surprised that uh, there's like no like Konami like arcade collection. Did I kill this guy? Hold on, I did. I did. I know there's some Konami games that are part of like the the hamster like arcade archives collection. Oh shit, oh he's trying to punch me, oh shit. Okay, we're definitely doing way better, I feel. Okay, these guys stick to it. I got one fucking bullet left. Thankfully there's some bullets right here. What if I go back in? Okay. Oh, oh shit. I'm trying to make this guy come down here. I'm running out of time, though. Oh, this fucker. Oh, please stop throwing those grenades. I think I have to go up here. Oh, fuck that guy. I'm gonna run out of time. Shit. Go, 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 go. So is there, like, a boss in this game? I don't remember. Is it in this stage? Okay, we made it. We barely made it. I'm also not, ne never, like, set a high score in this game. Or I guess maybe I just never got good enough at this game to actually, like, beat the... Like, the... the what do I want to call it? The pre-registered high score. So it does seem like you do get a life refill when you beat a stage. Okay, I get some bullets. There's that statue down there. I don't know what it does. Maybe just part of the background. Oh, shit. <sighs> Fuck. Do I just spawn here? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, we were kind of a really shitty situation there, so. Okay, so these guys have guns. Okay, so I can actually like hide behind that. Okay, these guys have two hits. But we're kind of in the same spot again here, aren't we? We almost died in the same exact spot again. Oh, what are you? I'm gonna see what a bunch of bad guys are gonna come out of that. Oh, that guy had a gun. He crouch shot. All the other guys have been standing and shooting. Oh, man, I suck at this game. 
All right, no lives. What are you? Are you like projectile invincible? Oh, we're going up. Got machine gun. Oh, that's cool. We're going up. This game's pretty advanced for its time. No. Oh. Oh, he has a grenade. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Okay, I want to to kill this guy. Oh, we have to go down now. Okay. This is pretty cool. It's a pretty advanced stage design for the time, right? Now we have to go down, go up, and then you go down. So it seems like when they like touch you, they you don't take damage. They have to like punch you or do we get left near? Or they have to shoot you. That's how you actually take damage. I think. Damn sick. For somebody that has no nostalgia for this game, uh, it, it's still fun. Hey, for Rolling Thunder, Rolling Thunder, Thunder 2, I have like no nostalgia for these games, but they're still fun to play. They hold up surprisingly really well. It's a great idea. I'm going to run out of bullets. Okay, got him there. Uh, there we go up. Oh, that's in the stage. All right, let's go. Bro, right, let's go. 80,000 we gotta get to to get a high score on this arcade machine. Okay, yeah, so we cannot shoot this guy. Should I, just, I think we should just dodge him, right? I'm assuming if we touch that force field, uh, we probably get killed, right? <sighs> oh, Jesus. I knew he was going to have a gun. I was a little scared there. All right, some bullets. Okay, I want to get down there so I can shoot these guys. <sighs> oh, right, those crowd shots. Game over. We didn't even get. Like I said, was that a new personal best? Even though it's not, it doesn't set up there. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a personal best. All right, 58, 4, 4. Okay, let's see what we got on the leaderboard. 1990. Okay. All right, let's see what we got. So that was our best score. Right, so we're almost sub 1,000, under 1,000. So that's not bad. I'll take it. I'll take it. So. All right. Time to change games. All right. I think it's Pac-Man time. So this collection here also includes Pac-Man Versus. This was a bonus game with Pac-Man World 2 on the Nintendo GameCube where if you bought the player's choice version of Pac-Man World 2, you got a second disc and you got this game. And I believe uh, Shigeru Miyamoto was one of the, I don't know if he was the director, but he was involved with this game. So so that's fun history about this game. All right, we got to go to the OG now, Pac-Man. All right, here we go. All right, we're inserted our one quarter, 1980. All right, here we go. 21. 21,000. Waka, 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 waka. Shit. There's a cherry there. Oh, 
So we were not in slot. I've never been the best Pac-Man player. I've been okay at Pac-Man over the years. I'm not like amazing or anything at it. I do like Pac-Man. Pac-Man is a very good game. <laughs> one could say Pac-Man is like one of the best games ever made. Oh, I feel like we're doing really, really bad. I feel like we're getting kind of unlucky on the ghost RNG. All right, not bad, not bad. No deaths on the first stage. I'll take it. <laughs> it's a victory in my book. All right, second stage. Yeah, so we got to go power pellet there, right? Nice, 1600. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna go up. I don't know if I was gonna say, I don't think. Oh, he's right on my ass. Fuck. Oh, I got an extra life. So one of the main reasons we're actually playing this game today, Namco Museum, is because we got that new Pac-Man Battle Royale game that just came out on Switch. I got done playing that. I was like, uh, no, oh, hold for a sec. Like, we should just play some Namco Museum because I haven't played that game in forever on the channel. I think I mentioned it earlier. If I didn't mention this, so I actually made a video for this game when it, this collection when it first came out back in 2017 so there's actually a video of me playing this on the channel in 2017 which is crazy to think about it's, tw it's 2024 now it's what like seven years ago there's a video of me playing this game i think i did like a no commentary video Who would have thought Pac-Man is still fun to play? I'm just gonna go for some some dots. Oh fuck. Mmm, oranges. Alright, uh not sandwiched. Well, sandwich though. Son of a gun. Our board is kind of ugly right now. We gotta get in that top corner. There's one dot here we need to get. They're on my ass. Okay, I think we're good. We're in the clear. All right, let's go. All right, one death so far. Ready. So what's probably the, what's what's like the best way to play Pac-Man, quote unquote, is like basically like a stick to a corner. Clear that area and then move on. If possible. Sometimes you don't know the ghost, right? Oh, fuck. You gotta remember if you go to uh, the side warps, they slow, the ghosts slow down a little bit. I wasn't sure what he was going to do. I know, I believe the ghosts do have, like, set patterns, like how they uh, react and whatnot. Fuck! Switch D-pad, no! Switch D-pad. Pro controller D-pad, I should say. Yeah, uh, the Switch Pro controller D-pad is actually not very good. It has a, it has a problem with reg registering, like, diagonals. Jesus, that is not lasting very long, is it? When I get the power pellet. 
Oh, uh, I'm not trapped. Okay, for a second I thought it was SOL. I should have kept going after Orange. It's Clyde. God, that's like lasting like two fucking seconds. Like literally. I did get a new high score though. Game over. Shadow. It's so a blinky, pinky, inky, Clyde. Damn. Good game. Good game. All right. Let's see what we got here. So we, did, we did get a new personal best. New PB. Let's go. 13,000. <laughs> if any of you guys right here on, on this list is watching my video right now, let me know in the comments below. Yeah, probably nobody. <laughs> All right. GG, let's go change games. All right, I'm going to go try that Tower of whatever. Let's, let's play that. The Tower of Jurag. So this, this is a really weird game. If you've never played this before, it's really weird. I do like the banner here, though. Yeah, look at this game. I have, like I said, so I have to go get the key, right? I don't get any points. I always forget. Oh, uh, okay. I get an X for a hint. Oh. Uh, yeah, so this is a really, really weird game. So we need to get down there. We do have a timer. Yeah, this is a really weird game if you have never played this game before. I, I, I was going to say, out of like the classic Namco um, games, this one is probably the one that does not hold up the best. Like, so if I do this, does this actually attack the slime? I kind of want to test it. Okay, so that actually worked. Okay, uh, let, let's let's do a retry here. So let's go to reset game. All right, one credit. All right, we'll give it a go. And the layout's there. So I don't know if the layout's, if it's like randomized. <laughs> this is basically like medieval, like Pac-Man, right? Except it's not as good as Pac-Man. I do like the side art for this. It just kind of tells you how to play the game. I don't know if, the, if this is how the actual arcade cabinet is, but if it was, that would be cool. Okay, so we got to stick our sword out and run into him. All right, we got 30 points. Okay, there's the key. Oh, God, this game. This game is something else, isn't it? I don't remember right. Isn't there like a Game Boy version of this game? There might be. And that's the game. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was um, I'm going to say probably out of the games in this collection, this one's probably the, the stinker of the bunch. Yeah, this game definitely does not hold up as well, in my opinion, compared to the other Namco games. Okay, I think we got good RNG here. Because uh, your timer, does that give you like bonus points? So in theory, you just really want to get to the key and get to the door as fast as possible, right? It looks like the black slimes are a lot faster. Oh, that actually counted as a hit. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Okay, so I was just sticking my sword, left my sword out, and I was actually killing the guys. So should I just keep it out? Is there, is there a disadvantage to actually not just keeping this out here? So there's that. Oh god, this fucking game. <laughs> Let me know if you have nostalgia. Okay, we got some other warriors. Okay, they we can dodge him though. Like I said, I don't know if there's a disadvantage of just keeping your sword out. Eleven thousand. 
Okay, yeah, so it is your time. Yeah, so you do want to go as fast as possible. Okay, right, where's the key at? Holy shit! So, okay, never turn your back on black magic. Yeah, I do like the border. It, like, just tells you. So you gotta keep your shield up. Oh, th these wizard guys suck ass. Just because their projectile is so fast. Oh, there's a key. That oh, psh, it's literally right by the fucking door. Okay, I'm just gonna leave my sword out here. Okay, so I guess you don't want to just keep your sword like that because of the, the wizard, right? So you want to block his magic. All right, we're learning the jank. Okay. Oh my god, there's so many wizards now. Fuck. God, their, their magic blasts are so fast. I kind of appreciate what this game was doing for back in the day. Fuck. Well, that's a game. Of oh, God. That game's hard as shit. It's hard. It's the wizards is what make this hard. I think we did get a new personal best, though. Also, we enter five characters for our... Uh name okay so now what it's just blank blank I guess forty and nine okay now what okay enter in my initials Does it just stay here? Because I want to make sure it uploads, right? Okay. Yeah, so when it does that little checkerboard and that spinning, that's... Okay. Well, we did get a new personal best, so let's see where we're on the leaderboard. All right, where are we at? Okay. Yeah, this game is... Yeah, stage five. Okay, I got to see the top score on this game. Stage 59, stage 60. Jesus, look how many points he has. That's what, six million points? Damn, that guy's a gamer. Holy shit. Bigger gamer than I'll ever be. All right, so I think what we're going to do now is I think what I want to do is do a round of Galaga 88. And then we'll do Splatterhouse and we'll call it there. Galaga 88. Save here. All right. One credit. Let's go. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. Uh, we'll go single. So you can start with the dual ship right away. That's pretty cool. I forgot about that. So I remember this game is being pretty interesting. There's like alternate paths and stuff you can take. This is a really cool game. Definitely a lot more visually impressive compared to the original Galaga, but I do love the look of the original Galaga. Brown. Fuck! Well, we're not upgrading to a great start. Dimension 1, so there's different dimensions and stuff too. That's a really cool collection. Oh, cool game. I really haven't played much of this game at all, really. I've played the original a lot more than 88. Kind of curious, like, how popular this game was back in the day when it came out. I bet this game was not played as much as the original Galaga, or even Galaxian, I bet, right? These little red guys. Alright. That's Galactic Dancing. Okay, so the bonus stage here.
That's cool. There we go. Mention one, stage four. Also, now there's stuff. Oh, that was probably good. I probably should have got that. And there's like objects and stuff in the screen now. This game is definitely way more involved compared to the OG Gal or Galaxian Galaga. Well, both of them are said. So before we actually started playing this today, I was actually thinking about playing the, the 50th anniversary Namco Museum collection, maybe here in the near future we'll actually play that. It was released during like the GameCube era. Fuck. I wanted to touch that. With all the bullets. Yeah, so I thought about maybe checking that specific ver uh, collection out. Because I don't think I ever played that collection. Maybe here soon we'll play that. Play some more old school Namco arcade games. I wouldn't need to show those guys. It shoots a bunch of little dudes out. Okay, let me... I'm trying to touch that, and every time I do that, there's, like, bullets there, so I can't check it out. All right, unfortunately, we don't know how to do very good. But yeah, so there's, like, the different dimensions, and there's, like, different alternate paths. So I'm curious if this game, like, technically actually ends, if there's an ending in this game. It's like Star Fox, right? The hell is this music playing? Okay, that was definitely not a PB, but let's see where we got. So dimension one, I believe, is what the D1 means. 15K. All right, we saved the best game for last. So we did play most of them, so. What was this game? We're not going to play this. I don't remember what this game is. I think this was a Japan only game too. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't think I was the biggest fan of that. But yeah, save the best game for last. Splatter ass. So I have actually played this game on the channel before, and we've actually beaten this game on the channel before, so. Alright. One credit. Yeah, this is my personal favorite game in this specific collection. But like I said, I think as far as I know. To this day, this is the only Namco Museum collection that actually has Splatterhouse. Man, this game's sick if you never play. Yeah, so it's a 2D side scroll and beat above game. We look like Jason Voorhees. Yeah, this game's cool. So this game was ported because it was the first arcade game. And then the game got ported to the Turbo Graphics 16, I believe. And then there was a Splatterhouse 2, which I don't know if that was actually an arcade game. I actually don't know. And then there's a Splatterhouse 2 and 3 on the Sega Genesis. I don't know if those are actually arcade games or not, if they were just like Genesis games. And then there was that weird reboot for the Xbox 360. Which I actually, I, I played that back in the day. I remember th I think it was pretty cool. Yeah, this game's cool, though. I like this game a lot. So the first time I actually played this game, I believe, was the Turbo Graphics 16 version of this game, but I actually played it on my PS, my modded PSP. Oh, that's right. That was actually the first time how I actually played Splatter Ass. Was on my modded PSP back in the day. All right, so this is like the first boss here, boss room. Can't remember. I, I don't know if there's actually like a legitimately like good strategy if I should just hide in the corner. So this is definitely a game that's all pattern based. So I believe the patterns are the same every single time. If, if you get good at this game, you can just like memorize everything, right? Oh, we're just going to get destroyed here. Oh, we've just fucking died already. Oh, we're, we're, we're going to get fucked. 
It's like, so I don't remember what's like the best strategy. If I should like just hide in the corner here. Just kind of like jump like that. It does seem like the right corner here is a lot better than the left corner. Jump scare. All right, we, we got no lives left, but we did beat this first stage. And there's like alternate paths and stuff in this game too. Yeah, this game is just really cool. I like this game a lot. This game is sick. This game, like I said, this game is pretty hard. There's, I think it's not the final boss, but like the second to final boss in this game. I remember being a fucking bastard. Like the boss fights in this game are pretty fucking hard. Oh, that didn't count. Yeah, if you have never played the just the arcade Splatter House, this game specifically. I highly recommend playing it. I think it's fun. You can just play this game, play Infinite Lives, Infinite Continues. It's still fun just to play through. It's not a very long game. It is an arcade game from this era, right? At some point in time, I would like to actually play Splatterhouse 2 and 3 and like beat those games because I've never actually beat them. But like I said, they're on the Genesis. I'm really curious what the reception for this game back in the day was. Because you, you look at this game, fuck. Say, like, this game is way different compared to like Namco's other games, right? I can't remember if you can actually like hit these things. I don't think so. And there's objects in the way you gotta jump over. Yeah, maybe at some point I should play Spotter House 2 and 3. Just play like an easy mode, just have like infinite like continues or whatever, and just actually just get through the game. Alright. So we have one hit left. No lives. We're we're fucked. What's this boss again? Oh, that's right. It's the poltergeist room. That's actually like fucking up my jump timing and shit too. Game over. Continue. No. All right, so let's see what my high score was in this game. Oh, wrong button. Okay, we're 817, so that's not bad. 92,000 we got. Yeah, I remember when this uh, Namco Museum came out, and I remember getting, like, pretty okay at this game, like, not terrible. What's the first? Okay, this guy. I was gonna say, I think this is an arcade game, so this game, in theory, can go infinitely. I believe so. All right, gamers. I like this song that's playing. This is a fun collection. But yeah, that's gonna do for me, everybody. So thanks for watching. That was a lot of fun, just playing some old school Namco games and having a good time. So that's gonna do for me, everybody. So thanks for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed. Um. Yeah, like I said, you should get this collection, this Namco Museum. It's pretty fun, so. I think a lot, there's a lot of good games in this collection. There's definitely some games that are missing. To me, personally, Galaxian, no Galaxian and no Pole Position are the definitely like the biggest omissions in this collection. Other than that's fun. A lot of these games are really fun here. Um, I don't know. What's well, like the biggest stinker in this collection? I remember thinking this game was not the best. Uh, this game's kind of a stinker, but I was actually kind of having fun. It's just such a weird, unique game. So, a fun collection. So, but yeah, that's going to do for me, everybody. So, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel and you would like to help support, consider liking the video, leaving a comment below, subscribing to the channel, and ringing that notification bell so you know when new videos are out. But yeah, that's good for me, everybody. So, thanks for watching. 
Have a great day. Take it easy. And I'll catch everybody next time. You do get a gun. Yeah, I uh, play Spider House. This game's sick.